Joshua Ground, uh, Diamond Foxtrot Echo Yankee Zulu, run up is complete with information Juliet. Dominic Yankee Zulu, Joshua Ground, I've woken up now, what can I do for you? <laughs> well, good morning to you. Um, I'm going to be doing a VFR flight to Aurelia Rama Airport at three th or 4,500 feet. Echo Yankee Zulu Ground, no worries, runway 23 as per the ATIS, you can taxi Delta and a score code of 1262. We'll squawk 1262 and taxi Delta, Echo Yankee Zulu. Thank you. That's the uh, 20, right? Or I can't see from there. Is it a 20 or a 40 you, you're driving there? It's a Diamond DA40, single. Riches. Okay, so now we have to put in our transponder here. Bravo Lima Vega, Asha Ground Taxi, Bravo, run to an Alpha Delta. One, two, six, two. That's our identifying number. a hold short instruction, but I, I know we meant to. What instructions? Just a hold short before I enter the runway. Oh. But you can see there's a plane on final up there. Oshawa Tower, uh, Foxtrot Echo Yankee Zulu is holding short 23, ready for departure. Echo Yankee Zulu, tower line up and wait, runway 23, be ready to go. Line up and wait, Echo Yankee Zulu. India Sierra Tango, number one now, I'll be departing one ahead of you. India Sierra Tango. Bell file, from exit Bravo, final Bravo, exit 30, contact ground. 118, that's before clear the runway. Bell file for Romeo. Hey, Golf Alpha for Romeo, check your fast 30 now. Uh, no delay down to Charlie. There is someone uh, in position behind you. Golf Alpha for Romeo. Okay, lights are on. Bill pumps on. Pumps are set to take off. Uh, wrong, other way, Golf Alpha for Romeo. Right turn, right turn on to Charlie. No delay. Golf Alpha for Romeo. Okay, Yankee turn on course report. Clear the zone, clear takeoff. No delay, runway 23. Okay, Yankee Zulu. We're going to take off, Mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> New Sierra Tango Tower, clear land, runway 23. Oh, man. End of usable runway. Lap's coming up. Good, Mama? Yeah. So much nicer now than the last time I was here. <laughs> Actually green, not gray and white. Yeah. Fuel pump can come off. Taxi landing lights off. Flaps are up. We're good to go. Excellent, Mama G. Nice. Just going to climb up to 4,500 feet. What are you now? Oh, at 1,500. Bumpy. A little bit. This is nothing, actually. When you were with Jake last week, it was... Uh, Much bumpier. Yeah? The whole way? Um, yeah. No, it got a little smoother as it went on, but... It was definitely bumpier. It'll smoothen out once we get a little higher. It's so different, you can't really see yeah, straight just, ahead? Yeah, just because we're climbing. Oh, I see. Just because uh, we're still climbing at like 900 feet a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once we get closer up, I'll level out. It, it levels up. And then we're actually kind of nose down uh, most of the way. I don't feel like we're going up, it's, it's weird. We're definitely going up, Mama. We're just now turning on course here. Okay. Okay, Yankee Zulu Tower, change on route frequency. Thanks so much, Echo Yankee Zulu. What did you do? You had to change. Now we're on the on route frequency, so oh. we're 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 just leaving the zone, that blue right. line there. Yeah, yeah. But one, once we're out of the zone, then we're not talking to the, the tower anymore. Okay. Zuzog area traffic, Zenith 300 Gulf Bravo, November, November. Currently over the island, heading towards Port Perry town, uh, descending through 3,800 for 2,000 feet. Any conflicting traffic, please advise Gulf Bravo, November, November. What did he say? Skugog area traffic, uh, Foxtrot Echo Yankee Zulu has just departed uh, Oshawa Airport, uh, about three miles to the southwest of Port Perry, uh, northbound, 3,600, climbing 4,500. Uh, Echo Yankee Zulu. On autopilot now. Even though you're still climbing? Yeah. I've just set it to climb us to 4,500. So you'll see now it's at 40, 
42. We're almost there. Yeah, so it'll start flashing. That's 200 feet away. Take a nap now. Huh? You can take your nap now. <laughs> well, not quite, but <laughs> so it's just going to capture the altitude. And then it'll straighten out. See the nose starting to come down. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to bring it back a little bit on the power. Fort Perry area traffic, uh, Foxtrot Echo Yankee Zulu is one mile to the west of Port Perry, northbound at 4,500 feet. Echo Yankee Zulu. Green, green, green. All in the green. Everything looks lovely, Mama G. Yeah. Green is good. Green is good. Okay, so we're now going to need to go to the Multicom uh, at 122.8. So that's the... Uh, that's the code for the airport that we're going to now. Okay. I'm, a, I'm enjoying this one more than the other one, by the way. <laughs> I, so that's, I don't uh, know why. That's Lake Simcoe up there. Yeah. That's Lake Scugog there, Scugog Island. That's Port Perry just off your right, kind of patches past it. Where did you take uh, Jake the last time where you guys had a burger? Was we it had, Joe uh, or Jake? Oh, the, two o'clock, low, one mile. So we got a traffic at 2 o'clock. Uh, we we'll want this traffic at 152, go to the uh, here in front. 700 feet below uh, us. That's not off uh, Bonnaby, so we're in, good. Uh, south of Stanton Road, to the power of 500 feet, heading back to Osho. Yeah, it's hard to see people when you're up here. you got to always keep your eyes so they're open. They're basically right underneath us now. Yeah, just down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's going fast. Yeah. That's what you do. You don't realize how oh, wow. fast everything's moving until you see yeah. it. No, I didn't see it. Small that. plane. Right, your traffic system 172. That was cool. Julia Tango 4,000 feet over Raglan. I'm tracking northbound towards uh, Skogok Island. 4,000. I'm at 4,500. Echo Julia Tango. Green Bank area traffic. Echo Yankee Zulu is just passing to the east of Green Bank at 4,500 feet northbound. Echo Yankee Zulu. Should be coming up somebody on our left here. As this well. one? This, this one? Yeah, it's like 1,100 feet below us. Seems like there's a lot of planes around. Is that... The uh, case, or do you always see that many? Sunny day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is, is, that this is still the practice area, so you get a lot of traffic through here. I see. And there's somebody above us. Yeah. He's probably heading back to Oshawa. Yeah. Not sure if we can see this guy. He's on your side. You can see how they're really hard to spot, eh? They're very hard to spot, and... You can just really you, see how fast they're going. Yeah, which is why you've always got to keep your eyes wide open. Oh, <gasps> there, there he is over oh, there. Why, what was that? Where is it? Right there. I can see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bombing along. Why did the plane just... Uh, he just hit some wind, some thermal, right? So you get thermal lift. Like on a roller coaster. Yeah, a little bit. So, so don't, don't let it bother you. Just, oh, okay. Like, just got to be relaxed about that. That's, okay. That's really nothing. A roller coaster. <laughs> Not quite a roller coaster, but Great. Sunderland area traffic. Uh, Echo Yankee Zulu is northbound at 4,500 feet, uh, just passing to the west of Sunderland. Echo Yankee Zulu. I'm just calling out, letting people know where we are. It's something you had to do so now, or you I just every every little every little while I, I I'll make a call. I think we're going to end up with runway one two up here. We're going to be flying over the just the edge here of Simcoe. Okay. And it's just on the other side. I'm used to seeing all this all frozen and, you know, ice huts on the water. <laughs> no. Well, you couldn't even land in the, the last time we went. Yeah, yeah. Well, this, so I'm going to count this as your first official flight. It is. Well, <laughs> I mean, no, but it's my first. Well, first time part. actually going somewhere. Exactly, yeah. Like stopping. And you say we're going to fly at the edge there? Yeah. So this is Beaverton right up ahead of us here. Beaverton area traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu is five miles to the south of Beaverton, uh, northbound at 4,500 feet. Echo Yankee Zulu. Once we get over Beaverton, I'm going to start descending. Yeah, so don't let this little swing and bumping kind of bother you at all. You just got to no, kind of no, relax no. your body. That, 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 that doesn't bother me. The only thing is um, it dipped the, yeah, like you before. Yeah, it kind of drops out a bit. Yeah, yeah. like your, yeah. your heart just kind of drops. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, Beaverton, Ontario, down there. I used to go to a camp when I was a kid yeah, up in this area. But we're actually flying over the water. Yeah, but we're well within gliding distance of the shore I if there's see. a problem. That's uh, I've got life jackets here, but I uh, I always kind of try to stay within gliding distance of the of land. 
Let's uh, switch over to the Unicom now. Lake St. John traffic, Echo with you. Yeah. Roll to the south Lake St. John. Really around the traffic, uh, Diamond Foxtrot Echo Yankee Zulu is 10 nautical miles to the south of the field, inbound for a full stop landing. Echo Yankee Zulu. Really Lake St. John traffic, Echo with you. Golf there, born off of Lake St. John to the south. Going to be doing a right hand circuit. So just, I'm going to have to listen in now because we're going into an uncontrolled airport, so I got to hear what other people are doing. Yeah. So that's the airport straight ahead up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's just like there's some buildings and a line in, just on this side of where the lake is. Not the first lake, but the second lake. So what we're going to do is, to enter the pattern, we're going to cross over the runway, okay. uh, 500 feet above the traffic pattern. Okay. We're going to turn around, come back at traffic pattern, and then join a right downwind for 1-2. Okay. So just if you wonder why I'm kind of doing this. I stuff. see. There's a very prescribed way to join the pattern. Yeah. So that you don't end up with conflicts with other people. It says 1759. Yeah, that's so what we're going to be... Just like, like in a minute. Yeah, so it's right there. I still don't see it. There's a, you can see a line, and there's like five or six buildings with kind of reddish roofs. Reddish? Yeah. Straight ahead. There's a lake right here. Okay. Then, right in front of it. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. I see right it. Right hand downwind on the west shore of Lake St. John. Early around my airport, our traffic, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu is four nautical miles to the south of the airport. We'll be crossing over at 2,200 feet, loop around, uh, and then join the right downwind for 1-2, Echo Yankee Zulu. But now we're, now we're like 500 feet above the circuit altitude. You can see a plane right in front of us there? Yeah. So he's in the, he's in the downwind for 1-2 right now. He's 500 feet below us. That's why we're crossing over 500 feet above. I see. Where is he on on this map? Is that that diamond right there? I see. Chad, we're just a uh, beam uh, runway uh, one two here at uh, starting the cross one here in about thirty seconds. Alrighty, Brian, I see you there. I'm just about to turn base at the north end of the lake here. We should uh, should miss each other. Hope so. <laughs> really, Lake St. John traffic echo whiskey golf turning right hand base landing in Lake St. John to the south. Somebody landing on the water. On the water where? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, one, two, over there, actually. Uh, uh, traffic, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu is overhead the field at 2,200. We'll be turning around to join the right downwind for 1-2, Echo Yankee Zulu. Now we're going to go down to 1,700. Traffic, 10 o'clock. Altitude not available. Less than one mile. Really, Lake St. John traffic. Echo Whiskey Golf turning final traffic, landing in Lake St. John to the south. I'm just going to turn us around, get us down to circuit altitude. Really a traffic, uh, Diamond Echo Yankee Zulu will be crossing the uh, field at circuit altitude and joining the right downwind for 1-2, Echo Yankee Zulu. Are you uh, in the downwind there yet, uh, the Diamond at Aurelia? Uh, no, not in the Diamond, uh, we're just crossing over the field at circuit altitude now, Echo Yankee Zulu. Okay, we're just rolling southbound in the water here, crossing the uh, approach end to 1-2. Uh, looking out, Echo Yankee Zulu. Traffic, 2 o'clock. Altitude not available. Less than 1 mile. Traffic, 1 o'clock. Traffic, 2 o'clock. Yankee yeah, Hotel Juliet, now I'm clear all wrong ways. Really traffic, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu has uh, in the r uh, right downwind for 1-2, Echo Yankee Zulu. We're just about going to be at your 12 o'clock there, Echo Yankee Zulu, 12 o'clock low. Uh, looking. We'll oh. just level off at 1,000 feet here and let you cross overhead over top of us. Yeah, I got you in sight. We'll, uh, we'll hold up at uh, 1,500. Awesome, thank you. So the fun of uh there he is right there. He's yeah. Good. You're clear. Thanks so much. Echo Thank you. So we're going around again? No, we're just lining up. Really, traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu is turning right base for 1-2, Echo Yankee Zulu.
So let's go, fuel pump is on, landing lights are on. Let's get our flaps in. There you go, that's where we're going there. Earlier traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu is turning final, 1 2, Echo Yankee Zulu. Traffic. Really, Lake St. John traffic Low. echo with the Gulf turning right mile. downwind. Lights on, lights on, 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 flaps are fully deployed. Gotta take those trees down right in front of here, that would be really helpful. Really good traffic echo in Kazulu, short final, one, two. Traffic, Echo Yankee Zulu will be backtracking on 1 2. Echo Yankee Zulu. That was intense. Was it? For me, it was. <laughs> 